pieces of loud equipment. And they had these big suction tubes because a lot of fumes came out of them back then. And as his back office assistant, all I had to do was hold this suction tube close to the area being treated. That's all I had to do, nothing hard about it. So, oh, forgot to tell you, on this male client, the area, this girl's laughing over here, so I have a funny feeling she already knows what we're saying, so make sure she gets a toy ticket. Um, the, the part being treated is his private parts, right? So I'm 27 years old, only doing this for three months. I'm trying to put my face on like I've done this a million times. This is no big deal, but I'm freaking out inside. I am totally freaking out. So he starts the laser. My hand's here close to the area of being treated, sucking up those fumes, and I'm shaking, because I'm a little bit nervous, right? I'm shaking, and within 30 seconds, I suck this guy right up inside. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> and the last class I did in Arizona, I had a male esthetician in the front row. <laughs> you should have seen this face. <laughs> so, the doctor actually had to turn the laser <laughs> off to unsuck him, to get him to get him. <laughs> And this time I'm sure I'm like 20 shades of red, but I can't leave the room. I have to stay there, acting like I'm doing okay with this. And the doctor looks at him and says, I'm not even gonna charge you extra for that one. <laughs> so it's so funny, every time I tell that story, I, I can just feel the emotions like I'm back there again. And, and I'll never forget it, and I'm sure that man has never forgotten me. He's probably still telling that story to this day as well. 